Hello and welcome back to some PvP Wars Skyblock. I've got an absolute banger for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new mushroom cow spawner that was added semi-recently during this season. There was also a big update or a semi-big update that added a few changes such as this being buffed and a lot of that I will be going over in a little bit so stay tuned. Real fast before I go into that I do want to talk about a few things. Now obviously I took the time to set all of this up and I realized a big mistake. Now, you can see down here, we've got, obviously, this be beautiful thing up here, which I have upgraded, and apparently it changes the glass on it, which is actually really cool. But specifically, when you do the, I think, the range upgrade, I upgraded everything to level 2, just to increase the range, and also increase the slots, as well as the, uh, the storage, because I was filling up on the fermented spider eyes. Now, on top of that, you can also see mob coins are in here, which we can sell by just doing that, so I decided to do away with this entire system well i'm not gonna tear it down but essentially i'm gonna start just stacking these around this so that it just does its thing i have been slacking a little bit on these but to be fair i haven't really messed with these in previous seasons or at least in a fat minute in previous seasons only for the fact that it just became more work than it was worth one thing I would like to see, a big change for this, is if they essentially took each category of different plants, such as the Golden Rose plant, the Grill plant, and the Incubator, and made it almost kind of like a little schematic, or some kind of like mini farm you place down, that you basically had to do the same thing with. However, what if you could just throw seeds in there, with the other seeds that are already in there, to basically increase the pr productivity of it? Without having to, like, basically be like, oh, well, I just got this brand new incubator, I guess I gotta place it down to this other one I have, and it's just gonna be out of sync, and it's just gonna feel weird. Anyways, we've got some stuff to do today, so to talk about this brand new update, I meant to pull up PV1, but instead I'm gonna talk about this update because I messed up. There's a brand new virus rank. Now, the only thing about this rank is it's different. You can see at the top, there is still glitch. The only way to get this rank is through the brand new admin crate. I say brand new, meaning as in, I don't know if it was updated during this, to be fair. I want to be very clear about that. But what is new is the Capra boss. You can buy this boss at the God Master at Warp Zone. You have five attempts to kill this boss. Now, that is something I want to tackle in the future, so I'll be checking that out in the future. Of course, we've got a bunch of other different buffs, including they added 750 spawner stack, 1000 spawner stack, 1500 spawner stack for island upgrades, including... Emmer block upgrade, cri uh, end crystal upgrade, and red mushroom block upgrade, which I actually want to go and take a look at this right now, just to show you guys. You can see we can upgrade these to make them even higher prices. This is probably one I'm going to do, but it's going to be expensive. On top of that, we got the cobble cube buff of end stone, end stone bricks, magma blocks as well. These are mineable from level 118 to 124 of the cobble cube. And then we got some additional buffs and additions. The admin crate and bundle is back and was buffed. Transfer shop buffed. Mission rewards buffed, which I don't even know what rewards they give you to begin with. Some are World of Fortune buffed and some quality of life changes. But essentially, that is it for the update. It's a pretty solid update, I would say. They are actually reining it back a little bit and not doing anything too crazy. Because I feel like by this time, they would be like, brand new, insert, uh, 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 really popular, well-known brand here, uh, zone. And, and then we'd go there and it was almost the same thing. Which, I did like that. I do like that idea. The only thing is, I felt like the way they did it was not the best. I feel like they need to put a little more effort into it. And that's just my only thing I'm going to say on it. I'm going to get to a lot of these in a little bit. I'm not, well, I'm going to open these, but I'm not going to be messing with what they come out of them. Uh, or That was English. I'm not going to mess with what comes out of them. We got a normal mystery seed pouch and a divine seed pouch, which came from Slash Reactions. And as you can see, I've got no more. So this first one is a grill plant. And the second one, which is a divine seed pouch. I don't even know what that means, but let's go and open it. That is a lighthouse, which is very slow. That also reminds me, I did actually get one grill plant finished. Um, I did actually get multiple finished, but I kept one of the pouches just to show you guys the reward and redeem the others. It gives 10 to 15 million cash. We got 12.56 million. That is insane. I uh, can't wait to start using them, but I'm going to let them save up for a little bit. Let's see what we get from these pet G kits. We got five basic eggs, which will give us hopefully something decent. Already have better of this pet. I already have this pet. Already have better of this pet. 
better this pet, and better this pet. Let's see what these spawner gi uh, spawners give us. We already opened up two. Two blaze spawners. We got uh, five ghost spawners, seven blaze spawners now, and eight blaze spawners. Not too bad, but... Eh. So the upgrade that they added is all the way out here. Look at this. Oh my god, that's expensive. 100 million is what it costs for the final upgrade of this. I also have 27k mob coins that I'm not really sure what to do with. That is a whopping 300 per mushroom. After doing sell all, you can see that's 35, 50, and 90 per. That is a whopping 300 for this. I need to make a little bit of extra money. Now, the problem is, uh, one thing that is bothering about this, this season is there isn't really much direction because of the quest. There's not really any dailies or any story. It is just Skyblock, which I kind of like, kind of dislike. If I'm not mistaken as well, I'm very close to the to the fifth level, which basically means that I will have access to carrots and eventually so on, so on. Honestly, I'm now understanding this method of farming so much better than I did before. This method is absolutely nutty. Wow, we're actually making huge progress. I think I've already gone up like about 100,000 experience. I'm not really sure. Hey, me, future me, throw in it, throw it in in the editing. Throw that shit in. Be like, hey, bam, look at that. Wow, look, that's the progress we just made, or the, the progress we had before, and that's where we're at now. Wow, amazing. I might have forgotten to do that, or I might have been too lazy, and if I did, well, you won't even see this, so it doesn't matter. Should I do some enchanting, too? That could be pretty tight. I could get some decent enchants. These are both very low odds with a 33.33% chance. That is a 1 in 3 chance of destroying my... Oh, and I've got two of them I gotta go on. We're gonna start with Fireball 2. Three, two, one. Okay, succeeded. Fireball 2. Three, two, one. Succeeded. Oh my god, that's so good. By the way, guys, make sure you join the server. All the information should be down in the description. PvP Wars is an amazing Skyblock server, and I know that they're working on other game modes for the future. They originally started in 1.8 and have since then updated to this beautiful, beautiful version that you see right in front of you, which personally, I think was a pretty solid change. Whether you be a brand new player or a returning player, let me know what you guys want to see from PvP Wars. Personally, I like the route that they're going, uh, slowing it down a little bit, really just fine-tuning their updates, I think is a good uh, start to everything, a good change uh, for what we need. Another thing I would like to see them do is essentially just more more things that, that they're like basically daily things to upkeep with that aren't too tedious. It's nothing too crazy, but it's like a, a once a day thing you can run to just get some really sick rewards. Just a little something to mix and match the progress here. Man, I can't wait to move on to carrots. Like, it's going to be basically the same thing, but like... The interesting thing about this season is, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel forced. Hey, farming level 5, poggers. Let's farm level first carrots. Let's see roughly how good carrots are. I imagine they have to be better than potatoes, or better than potatoes? Better than, better than wheat. It just makes the most sense. That only sells for 12,000. That's like 2,000 more, sorry, 12 million, 2 million more, which is, eh, it's something. I'll take it. Like I said, there's, like there's not a lot to do this season, or at least I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna backtrack on that. Not that there's not a lot to do this season. It's more so multiple things. One, I'm not the best at figuring out what's great content. I don't know what people want to see, other than just grinding. It's like what is interesting, which I guess comes down to the same thing. If I'm being honest, it really does come down to me, huh? Maybe I should PVP. Do you guys want to see me PVP? If we get 10 likes on this video, and I know that's probably not a lot, given how many views it might end up getting, which is probably not a lot. If you guys want to see me do some PvP, comment down below PvP, and I will do some PvP in the next episode. Maybe maybe that'll be fun, maybe not. I'll probably hate my life. I made some decent money from this, and if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be a while before I get to the next tier, because we're only level 5. Almost level 6. I'm gonna go ahead, before I go and look at my spawners, I'm gonna do a mid-video opening. We're gonna go open some things. It's gonna be great. Starting off, let's see what keys we get. We got eight vote and five crimson. So let's see what we get from our normal Wheel of Fortune spin. At number one, we got ourselves a beautiful island expansion, which is useless because my islands aren't expanded enough. One million experience? Wait, that's actually pretty sick. We used a lot of experience earlier today. 2,500 mob coins. Now that is what I'm talking about. 
The only thing is, I'm not really sure what to spend it on. 3,000 mob coins. Also not sure what to spend it on. And for our final one, we got 1.5 million experience and our one and only summer wheel of fortune spin what do we get that is a red a legendary twenty thousand mob coins i don't know what do you guys think is the best use of mob coins so we got a grappling hook we got a cell wand which is kind of useless because we've got way better cell wands uh if i'm being honest and we also got a basic orb and three creeper spawners i'll use in a little bit that is jump boost too we're gonna go ahead and just scrap that i appreciate it i do appreciate you but i don't need it Okay, what do we got from here? We got five witch spawners, ten evoker spawners, three creeper spawners. We got a water wand and a basic pet pouch. Hey, hello. I do see you, sir. But now I must go to my island. So we do have some spawners to place down. Obviously, creepers. Uh, and then we got witch and evoker, which actually are both for up here, which is pretty fucking massive. But of course, we have a much better spawner put down in there. So the number one thing we need to do is go down here and upgrade the beautiful slots on this for 500 million. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to give it like 10 minutes roughly. And I'm going to check back in a little bit and see just how much these guys in particular can make. None have spawned in since I've started this. And I'll let you guys know in a little bit. 10 minutes have officially gone by. And we also got a special guest, Tycho, the admin, just chilling on my island. Um, Let's see. I went ahead and actually, while I started the timer, went ahead and sold everything. So we've got 132 iron. We've got 2,844 fermented spider eyes. We've got 456 phantom membrane and 220 brown mushroom. You can see the prices down below. The only thing that beats the brown mushroom in terms of price is the fermented spider eye and it's like well over the amount that we have here like if we sell a stack of each of these you can go ahead and see that the price is nowhere close that is where i'm gonna go and end this one i hope you guys did enjoy if you didn't you haven't yet leave a like on this one join the server all the information is down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one